Hi, this is Maginoni, and um, Image Comics sent me the vault. So this is the first issue, one of three. So I thought I would get this review done uh, for you guys today, since it's New Comic Book Day. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's written by Sam, or it's by Sam Sarker and um, Gary uh, Gastoni. Now, the vault, like I mentioned earlier, is a, is a three-issue miniseries, and it's basically a treasure hunting story with supernatural type elements or monsters or aliens or something like that's going on. I'll explain a little bit about that a little bit later. Now, the art is good, but it's not the type of like a wow superhero type artwork, which I think is fine because you don't want, you know, like necessarily like a superhero approach to this. So I think the art art works for what it is. Now, um, I first of all I love this two-page spread here. I thought this was awesome. I have no idea what this has to do with the story, but I like this I like looking at all the mythology stuff that's going on, and I thought this was this part was really good. Now, what, one thing that they do well, I guess you can say, and it almost reminds me of a movie, is you know they give you a little introduction at the beginning. Oh, here's a little bit of action, danger. Somebody's getting attacked by a giant squid, and you know in these types of movies there's always like an eel, a squid, or a shark. So okay, that's fine. But then what they next do is they go, okay, here's all the different players. And they introduce them, and they tell, say what, how they're relevant. Now, the gist of the story here is there's this island called um, the Oak Island Pit, and apparently there's been a lot of shipwrecks in this place, and you know lots of treasure hunters have gone down, but not too many have. Basically, nobody's come up. So they think, they figure there's probably something huge that's down there. And um, because they do know it's trapped, but they just don't know what it is or how to get where, 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 and what. Now, basically, like I said they're so what they're doing is they're trying to get in, and they're kind of like at a I don't want to say they're at a standstill, but they're kind of they're at a, a stalling point. So they bring in uh, uh, this guy here, uh, Gabriel Parker, and he's basically the the guy who's going to finance. Um, their uh, their way through, and by what I mean by finance, he's also gonna be giving them these robotic um, dogs, I guess you can say, and then they're, that's gonna assist in the digging. And then these dogs are what's really gonna propel their uh, their work. Now the only thing is he's being kind of jerky because originally they offered him a share, but now he wants I'm sorry half of a share, and now he wants a full share. So you know I already. I'm already not liking this guy, and I'm, I'm hoping he gets killed. But anyways, um, along the way, like since your basic treasure hunt, underwater treasure hunting type thing, they're discovering new things along the way. And then at the end of the book, uh, they do discover, they they basically get like a, they find like, I guess you can say there's like vaults that are underneath there. They found one of the vaults, and then there's lots of money in there. You know, like the gold and the gold coins and things like that, but it's not even enough to cover their expenses. So they're thinking there must be more. There has to be more that's down there. And you know, along the way, they they've actually built up a nice little um, story around it in the sense of like a history of this place. You know, they they're saying like, okay, well, everybody's been searching here, but we think that it's over here, and this is why we think that it's over here. And, you know, so they do a nice little job about giving it a, a little bit of a lore and um, make them a little bit more intelligent than the average person. A treasure hunter that would just basically go straight and not look at the situation and go, well, maybe I should go this way. Um, one thing I will say is this. Um, I'm not, I do not want to reveal what they find. But they do find a, um, what looks like a giant tomb, like a coffin, like stone coffin like that. And inside, they're going, oh my god, there's got to be something, you know, very valuable inside there. Because it's like a monstrous-sized um, object. And they do a scan of it, and you see something inside there. Now, they're going, what is this? And the one thing that came to mind immediately is, what it is is something that should not be open. They put it back down underneath the water. Immediately, do not pass go. Take your coins and call it a night. That's what I think is down there. That's what I think that that thing meant. 
but they're not going to be like that because they're it's going to be the find of the century so they're going to plow forward and then they're going to give us a reason for two and three which is cool i'm totally okay with that now um i did enjoy the book i thought the book was entertaining i'm really curious to see where it's going to go uh, I think one thing that's appealing to me is I do like a horror type books or horror stories and movies and things like that. And this is taking it in a slightly different direction. You know, this now it's being underwater. Uh, so it has an extra element of danger to it. So I am really curious to see what the uh, rest of the book is going to be like. Um, if you're a traditional superhero fan, this may not appeal to you. But if you're the type of person that's looking for maybe something a little bit different, um, this might be worth a try. I'm not going to say it's a home run um, from the start, but I think they're on base somewhere. They made a hit, and um, we'll see if let's we'll see if they can get that runner home by the third issue. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think, and I'll have more reviews up uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, especially since I've been meeting some derpy tanks, and I, that made me want to just shoot myself. So um, I'll probably get more comments read. So until next time.